So what would you say to those who would call you a sellout or an Uncle Tom for being open about being a conservative, supporting Trump, things of that nature? That's just people that are uninformed, really. I don't even really get upset about that. I don't come from being uninformed because because at one point I was kind of a liberal person myself. I was really liberal, actually, when I was much younger, like in my early 20s, mid 20s. But as I got older, I just started to get more information. Okay. And then like I can say I went back to being young and being around my dad and my granddad and just seeing what they were doing and how they operated. And I just saw what made sense for me and my life going forward as are a lot of black men we're starting to see what makes the most sense for us in life going forward and part of that process is not caring about what those on the outside think because at the end of the day i can get called all these names online never in person but always online always online yeah <laughs> it, it doesn't it doesn't really affect me in my everyday life i don't even really care as long as i know i'm doing the right thing i'm doing what's in my heart and just being honest and genuine i couldn't really care less what someone on the outside says and like I said, it comes from being uninformed, not having knowledge. And a lot of those people, they might come around once they learn more, once they come to their own realization, then they'll come around. It's been guys I didn't had arguments with on the space, on the internets, going back many years uh, on during the O'Shea Rumble days, we have arguments. And then they apologize to me later, say, hey man, you know what? You were right. And I'm starting to see what you were saying. You were right all along. It's like, man, it's all good. I ain't even really tripping. And I feel like a lot of those guys that feel that way may come around. So I'm not going to hate them. I'm not going to condemn them. All I'm going to say is, hey, man, keep keep reading, keep researching. If we disagree, then that's fine. You go your way, I go my way. But I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing because of your opinion. You have your opinion that might work for you. But what I'm doing works for me and those that are around me. So I'm going to keep on going. Okay. No. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Um, so you're saying for, uh, for you, you think it's just a lack of misinformation and ultimately you don't take a personal your position is uh do your own research you know don't just listen to the media but do your own personal research come to your own conclusions and you see that a lot of a lot of black men in particular feel like they're being have been gaslit they've been bullied and um once they start to do their own research and step away from the brainwashing and come to their own conclusions then uh that is again one reason that we're seeing them kind of embrace more conservatism absolutely it's been the explosion of it over the past few years like when i first came on youtube back in 2015 like i said i was trying to find a guy like me i couldn't really find too many people okay. too many black men that were speaking the way i was speaking or thinking the way i was thinking about being conservative or whatever it might have been two or three guys at best and they weren't really big channels at that time uh -huh. and so, since i came along and kind of opened that door a lot of guys have been able to come through it now i'm not trying to say these guys are trying to copy i'm just trying to say i want it this to happen now wanted guys to be free to not be constrained to not be bullied to feel free to speak how they wanted to speak about being conservative about doing whatever they wanted to do rather than just fitting into one box of what being the black male is do what you want to do be all you want to be just respect people treat everybody with kindness you know protect yourself protect your family members that's what really matters and we're seeing a lot more of that so i don't really care people that are offended that i disagree if they do more research, maybe they'll come to see what I'm saying is right. And then when they do come to the light, they won't feel afraid to come outside and say, you know what, this, this is how I am. This is how I, this is how I operate. So, okay. So would you, now would you say in your real life, because you've been really open about your, your views and your politics that you have faced shaming, that you have faced guilt um, as a result or, or not so much? Not really. I mean, I had some people like some people that I knew personally get offended. But then again, people that, that know me, they know that I'm a genuine person, I always been like that. So people that might have been offended originally, they, they came around and then they began to respect me more because now it's like me and my dad is a prime example. So dad, like I said earlier, was very liberal, uh, but he was very political. He was conservative acting, but liberal politically. It, that's how he was so then yeah. when i started to express myself more like on social media i would get phone calls like hey boy like what are you doing on social media i don't like that take that down it's like man i ain't gonna delete nothing and we almost got into a fight one time now we, we both big guys i'm like six three he's six three both over 200 pounds it's like two big bulls we about to fight but after that when he when he knew i wasn't going to back down and i was going to send him my beliefs mm -hmm. it was it was we had a great we, we got even closer after that because he respected me 
and my ability to speak up for myself and not back down and just do whatever he said. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes you got to take those arrows and take some of the abuse, but defend yourself. Don't just back down, defend yourself respectfully. Mm -hmm. And you can gain more respect afterward. It's like being bullied. This is why it goes back to being bullied. Right. If you're a kid in school and you're being bullied, you allow it to happen, you're going to keep on getting bullied. But if you fight back, even if you lose, if you fight back, they're going to stop bullying you at a certain point because they know, okay, you're going to fight. He's going to go hard. It's the same thing just dealing with people that are talking online, talking crazy. You double down. You don't back down. As long as you know you're doing the right thing and you genuinely feel that way inside, keep on going that way. And eventually those that are respectful, that respect people, that respect strength, they're going to be on your side regardless. And that's exactly what happened in my personal life. I had about three people that wanted to fight. And after they realized I was not going to back down, it was nothing but respect. I'm getting phone calls like, hey, man, you know what? I like what you're doing, okay. man. I apologize for what happened back then. Keep on doing what you're doing. I got quite a few of those calls. Okay. Okay. So, um, no, that, that makes sense. I mean, I think people genuinely respect genuineness for lack of a better term yeah, <laughs> like for somebody sure. being honest um there's something really encouraging about that especially in this current society where there's a lot of just weird disinfectants going on so um that that makes a lot of sense and, and then ultimately um going back to what you were saying earlier about wanting to create a space for black men to feel the freedom to be themselves outside of a specific box, outside mm -hmm. of a specific narrative that says to be a black man is to be this, is to be that. You're not black unless you vote for Joe Biden. You're not black unless you're a Democrat. You're like, you know, so you want a black man to feel the freedom to be who they are, still be respectful, still be nice. But if that means they vote Republican, if that means that they vote outside of certain constraints, that they can still be respected and still have a voice. Absolutely. That, so. that's, that's my main thing. That was a big part of the reason why I came on YouTube. And I'm seeing that I'm I'm making some some uh, some headway, and not just me, but a bunch of other guys, because I want it to be a multiplying effect. It's like, okay, I come through the door, I take the arrows, and I want all you guys to come behind me. And it's like, oh, we get a, a whole army of people, and we just keep kind of like snowball downhill. We get more and more and more and more. It's not just one or two guys. It's a lot of us pushing the same thing. We can make a really big impact on the culture in that way. Okay, no, that makes a lot of sense. 